What's up, world? This is Levi Craig here with Watercolor Chaos, here to give you another speed paint video of Narcissa, Valley of the Wind. Doing another explosion in the background, that yellow to red, I really like. And then underneath of that explosion, I wanted to have one of the Om, which is one of the magical creatures or bug creatures in the movie. And behind, within his body, I wanted there to be this forest. Something that kind of meant, represented how in this movie, humans destroyed the world. The world kind of fought back with bugs and fungus. And Reek was filtering out the poison that, that we uh, the humans have all laid it all over the place. So... For that, I did this light yellow to green to dark green to blue to just highlight this this idea that there's a forest behind us uh, behind us, Iska and oh wait, I don't think that's her name. Well, oh, whatever. Uh, either way, um, I wanted there to be this this highlight to create this ambient lighting for this forest that would be in the background. Um, now I'm touching up on the eyes getting this idea of them glowing, kind of to match that lighting that I have underneath of it. Uh, one thing that I like to do with um, making a highlighting effect is put that yellow in there, and then I'll put the water on, and then I'll use a dry brush to like pull out the water, which will create like a lighting effect. It It's kind of hard to communicate. It's one of those things where you'd pr probably be better off just seeing me do it, but... Maybe you'll be able to tell in this. Um, with Right now I'm hitting with the dark blue to create that tree effect. Um, I also wanted it to imply the teeth of the Ulm. Because the Ulm has kind of like these finger teeth like this. Like a lot of little fingers. But I kind of wanted that to also look like trees. Didn't want it to be so creepy. But uh, I don't know. Either way it's a cool character. And I really wanted it to push that, that sense of of organic or it's it's a bug but its function in a sense is to cleanse the earth or or help fix the earth from the the horrible humans who polluted everything um just about done with the om now i'm doing a little bit of highlighting on the eyes getting and put focusing in on that contra skin it was a lot of work to get the teeth and trees all out. I used um, mostly a size six long hair brush. Also, I like to use this uh, one point brush and uh, this really helped me get some really, really fine details in there. Um, now I'm starting to touch on Nesiska. Um, once again, that's not her name, but it's just the only thing that I'm remembering apparently. <laughs> but, uh, Touched her face first. I wanted to create that paley skin tone. Um, that's like a custom color from Grumbatcher. It's really good for skin. Um, now I'm touching up on the cat. It's uh, got a lot of details in it, which I'm mostly using that size one brush for. I actually have a half size brush too that I'm playing around with. Um, trying to create texturing effects like with this hair. Here I'm really getting in there with, I believe that's actually the half point brush to really get in there with that super fine detail. I wanted to create like this wind gusting behind her, you know, so that it was like not just a stagnant pose, but I wanted it to also be like, ooh, glorious hair. <laughs> but, but yeah, so then playing around with it some more, getting some more depth in there with darker oranges, darker reds to create a depth within the hair and layering. Um, I'm not the greatest with hair, but I'm figuring it out. I think it turned out pretty good, you know? Try a little here, try a little there, sprinkle sprinkle some color everywhere. Now I'm hitting up her clothes. Um, went for like a light blue into a dark blue into a little bit of green. I didn't, I didn't want to experiment too much with that. I, I, I probably should have to match my style, but whatever. Um, now I'm hitting some purple to create this accent because she's got this metal breastplate, um, which is kind of cool. With her eyes, I definitely use that point one brush or that half point brush. Eh, yeah, because that, that, that was a lot of detail in there. Getting in there, did the eyes. Turned out pretty good. 
pretty clean. Miyazaki or uh, Studio Ghibli has a very simple kind of anime look. I kind of wanted to capture that. Sometimes I go off and cartoonize it a bit, but I really wanted to leave it, it kind of like with that simple tone because I think that's what they're known for. Um, and that's what I appreciate about them. Um, and I wanted to have like her fists kind of like strong pose. Like she's, she's this character that, you know, kind of like stands up t for nature and to her fellow humans to kind of lead them into the future to make better of tomorrow. And now we're pretty much done. And you've got a little more splattering here and there. I lay the water on heavy and blow on it. It's really hard to do that because you have to like pick the right direction. So you got to make sure that you lay it down flat and go if you want it to go that way. If you want it to go the other way. <laughs> anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please watch that movie too. It's fantastic. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook. I got an Etsy up now too. You guys have a fantastic one. I'll see you on the next one.